Okay, we're in. Uh, almost crown, thank you for the uh, three months. So it's currently rollouts, but that's okay. And the reason that's okay is because um, cars are actually going to be running, which is cool. And I guess not really driving around that fast, but then again, these are, you know, street machines and hot rods and low riders and stuff. I'm not paying, I'm only going to be here. This, it's, this is only like an hour more. I'm not paying to be here. Come on, man. How's the... Hang on, my mum is literally calling me. Uh, Abrac, thanks for the eight months. Arsic96, thanks for the two months. By the way, there's no alerts uh, because I don't have alerts set up yet. So I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just walk. Should I just start? Should I do what I always do and just walk over there and just walk up and down until I see something? I guess that's... All right, let's go back to where they're actually geared because they're starting to move from this end. Jumbun, thanks for the 14 months. Welcome back. I can I wonder if I can do a an Instagram video while I'm doing this like let people know I'm live I'll try it I hope it doesn't drop out I am live right now at the moon eyes it's rollout I'm doing a live stream twitch.tv slash Noriero Japan come check it out live right now if you can see this I'm live stream quality by the way what's a Peugeot doing at a Moon Eyes event it's an all like this is an all genre meeting streams good okay excellent and this time I'm gonna try not to go over my six gig limit so I can actually do a live stream again So this is the, so like I said, it's currently three o'clock. This is the end of the event and it's uh, rollouts, which is good. So we'll get sort of cars coming to us as well. <laughs> saves me, well, yeah, well, it saves everybody the time and money of going. Is it, it's, uh, yeah, it's really cloudy and the weather's kind of shit right now. It's like, it looks like it should be raining, but it's not. <laughs> Is 
that a Shante? It is a Shante. No, a Fronte. I was wrong. It's a public holiday tomorrow, don't it? Well. Sort of uh, unrestored. Oh, the the surf style mini cab. Hang on. Look at this. This is cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't even know where to go. I don't even know how, well, like, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something if I walk any certain other way or not. I don't know what to do. There you got a Cedric, you got the old Gloria. Rusty as hell, that's super slammed. That was a K car, yeah. Okay, I, wait, I know what to do. I know what we'll do. We'll go to the exit. We'll go to the exit because everybody's heading to the exit and then just walk in the opposite direction of everybody else because then we won't miss anything. Or at least not to. Holy crap, dude! What? Hang on. He's got the. I don't even know what I'm looking at. With those wheels. What the heck are these wheels? It's like a trim. It looks like a Porsche wheel, but it's not. He channeled it. I probably did, eh? It looks like a work van, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Nissan Homie. But... I don't know. It's kind of... Hmm? Oh, thank you very much. Eh, this wheel is... Like a Porsche image? Yes, I bought it. Oh. Eh, this frame... あの、シーノッチですかじゃなくてオーナーです。なんかフレームは切ったオーナーです。ああ、あ、エアロが低いんですね。あ、エアロも低いんですね。そっか。かっこ。そう。え?足ゴマフラー。足ゴマフラー。
the uh, coupe Malibu, not the wagon. See, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Dodgy barn over there. That's a she that's a Chevy. That's an Astro over there. You're looking you're over there. Check out the chop mod layer. Yeah, it's at uh, it's at about eye level, so we could do that. Cool. Offenhauser cam covers. V6. So this sort of thing was probably imported from overseas. I like that stunning black Camaro and Alex is like, wagon. Yeah, well, I'm weird. Oh, look at this Impala. Sick. Oh, I'm glad I came out, this is cool. Elizora, thanks for the one year. Only strapped on one side. Uh, <laughs> let's not talk about that. Let's not mention, let's not talk about how they strap cars down in Japan. Mm -mm -mm. See if it has shield tail lights. Okay. Is that a Shelby GT behind the Impala? Where? Here? Uh, I don't know. Is that what we're talking about? I don't even know. Trying big fat nidos on the back. 496, it says. I don't know if that's real, what that means. Uh, I don't know, let's have a look at the brake lights. Someone can probably tell. Oh, is that, that's the original? Oh, it's a Mark 1, yeah. I mean, the sticker says Mark 1. If you can see it, it's like black on green. All right. So we'll walk up and up the line. Yeah, Mark 1 in bullet colors, yeah. All right, so Mustang, see it was a Chev. Oh, I was an express, it was an express van. Okay, it wasn't an Astro, I was wrong. All right. Impala wagon. I'd like these more if they didn't have, they didn't look quite so hearsey, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Alright, uh, is there anything good down there? Oh, I can probably just walk this way. Ramp truck, oh yeah. When's the sideshow? Ah, they're not doing that here. No. Oh, holy crap, that's so cool. They're all like creaky and slipping belts and stuff. So it says uh, Chevrolet Thriftmaster. I wonder if the ramp truck is diesel. I don't know. There's, there are people in it, but they are children. So I don't know. I'm not going to ask them, nor am I going to film them. It, uh, I don't know, you can probably tell by the exhaust sound. I, I don't know enough if that's diesel or not. It sounds... The way it's idling, it sounds kind of diesel-y, but I'm not too sure. That's petrol? Okay. Yeah, it's not making that sort of... How would, you, how would you describe the way a diesel sounds? Like a more of a popping sound than a, than a burbling sound? Oh, I like Chevelles. 
I do like Chevelle. These are cool. uh, how big and open the window area is. How long is that? Two? That's like five, six meters long. Cadillac Coupe de Ville. These would be really expensive now too, wouldn't they? Nah, 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 nah. This is evil. Like, gangster boss rolls up in this thing. Well, I don't know. What sort of image do they have? I don't even know. It is, yeah, it's a Batmobile. Where does he park it? Um, where is he from? Well, oh, there you go, 1959. <laughs> so it's pretty convenient to to own one of these cars with Japanese plates because you can just put the year on them. <laughs> He's just chilling out on his phone waiting to get out. <laughs> Got the rag top down so my hair can blow. Uh, Zevius, thanks for the seven months in a row. Thank you. A, see, I don't even know what order to read this in. So it's a Valiant Signet. <laughs> I sound so dumb, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I know this. This is a Valiant... Ah, uh, Valiant... Uh, I don't know. I just recognize the rear end, it's a Valiant. That's all I know. So you, do, you don't have to be politically correct in Japan. Pacer? Dart? The Confederate flag in the back of the Plymouth. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can do that here, it doesn't matter. No one's gonna get upset. What, wait, what? This is, no. What, hang on, is it a Mazda? It's a Datsun though. The, the actual piece of Planet car was a Mazda. Wasn't it? Or was it Toyota? No, it wasn't Toyota, yeah, because it said, it said something else. It said something like Toyota in the back, didn't it? How cool is this? It was a Toyota, yeah. Wait, do they have, does he have the toys like inside the car? No. But it has a blanket over the seat and a can of what is that? It's probably Monster in the in the drink holder. <laughs> it's like handmade. <laughs> that is kind of cool. Rat fink door. Yeah, rat fink door locks. Is that focuses? Okay, so however long the stream is right now, I can do it like five, five more times. That's the amount of data I have. Okay, this is, see this Korsoku UN? This is a Japanese magazine. Korsoku means high speed, UN means leaded fuel. So it's like high speed, high speed, high lead. <laughs> and it's a, it's a magazine all about classic Japanese cars. Like in the sort of the weirdo way, like, yeah. Yeah, this is all, this is all hand painted. Datsun. <laughs> Probably went to Disneyland. Texas flag? Texas flag, where? Like, generally, I run better on alcohol, it says. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Orange County International Raceway. <laughs> Cool. Bottom right of the rear window. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got a, here he goes, his Instagram. Ratson underscore 620. There you go, Ratson underscore 620. Stacked headlights. Oh, square body. I like these. So it's the short one, right? How do they register those? Um, well, this one, the plate is at it. Where is that? Tama. Tama is sort of country, a bit countryside, so you could you could find room to park these out there. 
He's got a oil cooler and trans cooler. He's got aircon as well. And what are they? R triple eights? What are those? He's got R triple eights on the truck, dude. Look. It's all burnt around the exhaust as well. I wonder what's in it. Look at this carbon fiber. Oh, are they Archiblade R's? Yes, they are. They're Archiblade R's. So this car is, this truck is running the same tires they run on the D1 Grand Prix uh, GTR, like the Trust Toyo GTR. Archiblades are disc discontinued now. It might just be for show, like they're not really worn out, but that's a <laughs> that's a pretty epic set of tires having on a car like this. Yeah, he's got carbon fiber front. It's all carbon fiber, like the the bumper, the headlight surrounds, and everything. They're all carbon fiber. これなんかどっかで走るんですか？あんまりなんかストリート。興味。Ooh. Yeah, paddle shift. So let's go some of this. That thing is sick. I like that. And big, I like the big square C10s. They're really cool. He's ripped too. What do you mean he's ripped? He's a what? He's a bodybuilder. He's fucking huge. What you mean? He's like he's a he's a he's a unit. Hang on, hang on. I want to ask him. I can't check it right now. I can't check. Dude is jacked. Ah. Oh. oh, okay. And on there. Hey. My chat to guy. I'm watching. Like, kind of clear, isn't it? Weight training. Yeah, yeah. Weight training. Yeah. So Accord wagons had a bit of a following here for a while too. Like back, um, you know, like ten or so years ago. And they still kind of do. Yeah, on Meisters, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, I know. Um, okay, I know this. Yeah, Cowwing Auto Center. This is a, it's a shop out in Tokorozawa where I used to live. And when I when I bought my, what the hell is that El Camino? When I bought my JZX100 Mark II, it had a Cowwing keyring on it. So I assume that like the, the previous owner, the next car he bought was like an American car. Okay. So it's raised on, I don't know what, it's on a something or other chassis. I don't know what that is. It's got leaf springs front and rear and independent axles. So does someone know, like if any, seriously, if anyone knows all, what all this stuff is, write it in chat. Blazer, El Camancho. <laughs> I could always ask the dude. He probably knows. That's a truck. Yeah, I know. Frame one, this car. Blazer. K5. K5. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So you got it right. Iman, nama hai sisimas. Yeah, it's a K5 Blazer frame. So there you go. Texas plate. Is it? Real? I think it's. Yeah, it is. It's real. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Really common car, four by fours. Okay. Oh, arigato gozaimasu. Here we go. I got a sticker. Arigato. Takuis. Yeah, sticker cop. Put that in my bag. <laughs> I like it. His axle clearance is meh. Well, you know, I don't think he's going to be going mudding anytime soon. There you go, left hand drive. So that'd be an import. That's left hand drive too. The 
cooler a fuel tank. Oh, I didn't see it. It was probably just a cooler. So these are on, that one's on bags. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is a, a two-stroke. So this is a Mazda Porter. And it's two stroke. いい音ですね。So, え、これなんか六十年の何年のですか？七十四年。七十四。はい。So this is a nineteen seventy four Mazda. Oh, Mazda Porter van. And look, he's got the NFK stickers on it. <laughs> NFK のシールがつけてます。ナンバーだ。あ、ナンバー。あ、そっか。<笑>いや、危ない危ない。<笑>危ない。<笑><笑>お、シフトノブもかっこいいですね。<笑>はい、ありがとうございます。That's cool. I like this. Bridgestone. Oh, what even size? I don't even know if you can get the light truck. I pretty much guarantee you can't get these wheels anymore. One forty-five, ninety-five, tens. I'm not even sure if you could buy those anymore. Okay, so this is Japanese. The、uh, six. Is this a fifteen crown or six? It's a fifteen. No, it's a. Is this a 15 or a 16 crown? It's got the the headlights are connected to the grill. I can't. That's 16 crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Imagine back in the days when like every car was like this, like how the air quality was. That's a 16 crown wagon, all right? With blue tint. Yeah, it's fairly old school.、Uh, Gloria, is it? I think that's a、uh, Toyota Gloria. Here we go, Crown wagon. This Crown's kind of cool. Hard body. Ah,、right. uh, I'm going. I'm going blank. It's, it's a Honda something or other. So I, I think this is a front. It's pretty sure it's a front end conversion. The、uh, whatever the old one of these was called. It's like I got a conversion for that because this is a it's a modern car. Parla wagon. How much longer do you plan on streaming? Let me check. A、oh, fair, a fair while longer. I, can, I still have time. I still have data left. Yeah, well, people are leaving, but it's still going to be. I mean, there's still lots of cars here. We still have some time, and it's not super dark yet, so we should be okay. All right. Modern car. All right, let's keep walking. Let's walk down here. Honda, watch him call it. I, I, yeah, it's. I, well, you see, it's it's a modern Honda K truck, sort of re, you know retro style. So, and I can't remember the name of what the retro car actually look is like. What the car it's meant to look like is called. I can't remember. <laughs> All right, so Ford, something or other, with a big,、uh, is that called a flathead engine? Flathead, yeah, I see. I got it right. Oh, it, it smells from like you'd stand back here a meter away and smell it. Edmunds, so the.、Uh, Cam is that a cam cover? No, the head cover. I don't even know. I don't know how these work. 
there's a bottle of Coca-Cola as the overflow. Flat helps, flat heads, valves on bottom, right. Juice coupe, is that what you call them? How does he keep that running in? Well, I mean, you know, they're not exactly driving them every day. And, you know, I mean, people who are into that, this sort of stuff, they're into it. I mean, look, it's registered. This, <laughs> you sometimes see them driving around. Like, very rarely, obviously. Go to the E34. E34? What's an E34? Oh, over there. Okay, wait, give me a second. Uh, see right there. Look, look, these things, are, you know, they're moving and running, come on. Yeah, I see it, it's over there. I'll go over there in a sec. <laughs> it's got a fairly uh, fairly wide stall on that, isn't it? Yikes! The the pulley is like wobbling even at idle. You know, all the doors are dynamited. <laughs> E30, alright. This thing? It's left hand drive. I mean, a lot of them back then were. So a little bit, it's got a custom wheel, like a custom with a K wheel on it. Just quickly. There's a Nissan Caravan Custom with the, uh, the diamond window. And like crushed, crushed velvet interior. Ooh, wow. And those 1970s curtains. Yikes. A boogie van. Right. Beatles. What should I say? Air cooled. So one in the front is sort of drag style. So I, I want to. Oh yeah, look, look. The interior is like, like steel drag seats, and he's got. Yeah, I knew. I was going to say it's got to have the uh, standing tailpipe. That's cool. So drag style, and I guess this one's sort of more rat style. It's on. There might be NK Bajas on the back, I don't know. It's quite, yeah, it's pretty low. Yes. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm doing it live on Twitch right now, actually, so yeah. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Yeah, man. Spoto. Uh, so what would you call the... Do they have different names for these? This is like sort of one of the non-rare. I mean, I guess they're rare, but it's like one of the non-rare ones, right? Like this isn't this isn't an expensive one, is it? The day that Lexi stops drifting is the day he goes full van life. I'm dude, I'm halfway there. Tetanus van, right? <laughs> Non-splitty. Look at the back end. It has a well. There you go. That's what the end looks like. Rare, but not not rare. Well, wow. yeah, it's got a sort of a Monsters Inc. logo on it. There you go. 
know, four door. I don't even know where to begin with that. It's a four door skyline with like ski, like ski BMXs on the back. On the on the roof, I mean. Oh well. Oh, more Cadillacs. And there's still heaps to see. More caddies, let's see this one. Yeah, it was a sign off, wasn't it? The ski bikes are super fun. Okay. Uh, this is the guy I, I, I had for a while my uh, Facebook profile picture was me sitting in this car I don't know what it is. Is it a thun is this a thunderbird? I'm not too sure. I'm sitting in it now. No, that's all right. Well, I've already got the photo in it. It's a chop, super chopped roof. The exhaust is like right on the ground. Chopped roof, something. I'm 99% sure that's my family's old suburban. Oh, the one over there? Bare metal with ghost flames. By person. And there's a bunch of Hondas behind me. We'll go there in a sec. <laughs> Damn, that's you pull up in this man. She's sinking a can in there too. <laughs> Maybe she won't be filming or drinking a beer. <laughs> Octagon wheel, yeah, I mean, that was a thing. Yeah, it's got some decent chop. It has a uh, engine. Oh wait, wait, let me guess. This is a, uh, that's a Chevy engine, right? Back to the cream C-notch truck. Oh, this one? Clearly an LS, well. Uh, say hello, thanks for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Also, Xevious with the seven months. Thanks, dude. Yeah, this interior is quite. Uh, wow, chicka wow, wow. The 
buttoned, buttoned brown velour for, for Christ's sake. <laughs> That's a big block Chrysler. Oh, there you go then. All right, Type R, cool. All right, Honda, Honda dudes. See, even if, yeah, it's like most of the cars here are sort of you know old, old school American stuff as well. But obviously, there's, these are like US, you know, US DM Hondas. Rip my donation. Oh, did it not pop? Oh, NorCal 240. Yeah, um, I can't see donos right now because uh, I don't have alerts up, and I've only got any, the only ones I have are in Twitch. Yeah? Oh, switch いいね。ありがとうございます。みんなみんなびっくりしてる感じで。ああ。ありがとうございます。<笑> cool. So high ace. Um High ace on hydros. It's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Dodger's hat, he's cool. <laughs> oh, this crown. So a rat style crown is a, <laughs> what the hell's a drag style crown? <laughs> okay, so crowns, here's another one. Got the, what do they call it? Stink bug stance. So crowns, for some reason, I don't know why, but old crowns just uh, attract that type of uh, that type of person. For some reason, like in Japan, like the sort of the, I guess, what do you custom style people? A lot of them drive crowns for some reason. All right, let's keep going. How are we going to do for data? Okay, I'm one third through my data. I'm not gonna go th go over again so I can actually live stream outdoors again this month. How's the uh, quality bot? So, hey, you know, hello, how you all doing? Uh, we're streaming on the GoPro today. So we're in a diver, so the quality should be pretty good. All right? So yeah, let me know how it is. You, go, you don't wanna see, you don't really wanna see me. I'm all unshaven and disgusting today. So sorry I couldn't come out early today. We had, um, I had stuff I had to do this morning. Brisker, what the hell is that? Hino. Oh wow, okay. So there's a Hino. Shut it off, dude. There you go. So a Hino Brisker, Brisker truck. All right. So Hino, you probably know Hino trucks. All right. Uh, Hino is a town out in uh, Western Tokyo. It's a Brisker 1300, so I guess made to... Oh, it's got like some sort of old school air conditioning setup in it. This is odd. I've never heard of this before. A Hino Brisker, obviously with a, obviously with a chopped roof. Like that's not a standard roof height. You can see it's been uh, blended in there, sort of. Yeah, interesting. That's interesting. Hey, Pubit, what's up? Shave tailgate also? Uh, may maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't. Know. I'm not sure. That looks kind of factory there, to be honest. Not too sure. All right. Oh, no lights. Oh, it's got the lights down the bottom there. You can, you can see them just there. So like trucks, just truck style ones down the bottom. All right, it's getting a bit thin out here. It's all right, we're gonna walk back because there's there's still like that end over there that I haven't been to. Oh, it's an 8.6, yee. Hey. This is definitely on uh, carbs because it's making that rattling sound. Oh 
on all the quips. All right, we'll go. We'll do a we'll do a loop around. So the USDM Tacoma lineup. I was running some big boy cams too. Yeah, it had a decent chop. One problem with, uh, I remember back in Australia, there was sort of a, a move, because there's so many of these in Australia, not Tacomas, like the Hiluxes. Uh, people were sort of starting to make mini trucks, but the problem was that in Australia, you, I mean, it might be the same everywhere else, I don't know, but you had to run, like if you were running a, um, a truck with, you know, that had a certain load rating, you had to run tires that had that load rating. And the majority of like, you know, low profile, low profile tires don't have that load rating. So the cops would immediately give you a ticket. It's kind of sucked, but uh, I never really took off. Uh, Suzuki, I don't know. Uh, it's a Suzuki. MR wagon. So fairly easy. To, I mean, you, you see people doing this sort of thing with these, with the little, you know, K van, K truck, uh, K trucks, K vans, K wagons, or whatever. You know, it's not hard to put some accessories on it and sort of make it cool. Load rated wheels and tires, exactly. Yeah, revenue raising. Wow. This lowered truck is not safe because it can't carry the factory certified, you know, factory specified, you know, 800 kilos. It's like, well, I'm not carrying anything, dude. This is cool. I like the, uh, they've got these little sort of machine gun style tips welded on the end. Holly head. Mm, was that Magnaretti? Magnet Morelli? Carb, leaf spring front end, absolute death trap, but probably a lot of fun. 50 k is <laughs> yeah, like a 50 cal machine gun tip on it. That's cool. Uh, Manly 613, thanks for using your Prime. Oh, this thing, okay. This has a V8 in it. Is it a Dyna? I sound really dumb today. I don't know anything here. This is a Dyna truck, I think. Isuzu. Oh, I don't even know. But anyway, it's, it's an Isuzu tr uh, light truck. All right. Okay. It's got a V8. <laughs> I, really, I really want to hear how this sounds. This would be really cool. All right. Wouldn't it? And it's got the... Uh, Oh, I forgot what these called. They're Honda. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What are they called? Ruckus. Yeah, that's it. Honda Ruckus Custom. So I don't. Again, I don't. I have no idea what that engine is. It's got the distributor on the back. Isn't that a way? The way you can tell what an engine is really quickly by you just look at the. Um, some engines, like they all have the distributor on the front, some all have it on the back. Have you seen those highest ambulances with factory 1UZs? I have. I, I only found out about, about them like the first time the other day. And I looked them up. That was, that was kind of cool. I mean, the problem is, I guess, it's the, the actual car itself isn't really that cool. Ford is front, Chevy is back. There you go. There, there you go. I knew there was something about that. So Ford is front. So that was a Chevy. That was at the back, so it's a Chevy, right? I'm sure there's a, yeah, you get, I don't know, I'm sure there's other ways of looking at it, but other rules. All right, USDM style. Uh, Cash Wolf, thank you for the Prime sub. Also, Spooky, thanks for the 45 yen cheer. Appreciate it. Like I said, I'm sorry we don't have alerts on today. Uh, I guess I'll do this in the next, so I might not be doing a stream tomorrow too which is sort of half the reason I'm doing it today. Half the reason is because I just wanted to do it. Okay, Peugeot 306 on Salt Lake style wheels. What the hell, dude? This is a weird style. <laughs> big block crisis up, up front too. Right, right. And some big block Fords, okay. I'd like to learn, but I guess I just don't really have the opportunity to play with that sort of stuff. 
so these are like USDM French. <laughs> Don't even know, dude. It's <laughs> the thing about Japan. It's like there's, no, there's everything. No matter what weird, you know, kink you have, there's a there's a car. You know, there's dudes out there who already do it. With cars, what I'm talking about. Is that a Pajero in the background? I don't know. Oh, over there? Yeah, there's a Pajero. It's just leaving now. Do we really, do we need to see a Rocket Money S13? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Multifunction stapler. Thanks for the sub. Also, goats with a Twitch Prime. Welcome back, Multifunction stapler. Say hello. Uh, thanks for the sub as well. Did I already get you? I don't think I did. Thank you guys. Thanks for the subs. Yeah, I, I need to get one of these uh, rebroadcasting rebroadcasting things set up so I can have alerts on what I'm doing doing with the GoPro. No, not really. Oh. Everyone cleared out fast. There's still more up the other end there. There's more. This end's fairly cleared out because they, they can get out really quick by that exit over there. Uh, so this is a Honda, what's it called? An o of, uh, Orf Orphia? Ophelia? something it's this it's a civic no no it's a no it's a basically it's a civic wagon right orthia that's it thank you <laughs> see american cars and hondas i don't know uh i think they only i'm pretty sure they only came in manual uh sorry and only in automatic this one's manual maybe they did come in manual i don't know Oh, back? Small F? Uh oh. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stuttering? Okay. Hang on. Let me check. Okay, it's back to 1600. We should be back. It's got that uh, Oakley tint on it, and the dog is barking at me. Trinity, um, wire mesh with it. Is it actually knockoff wheels? Pigutech. Oh, okay, this is, all right, so this would be like a Salt Lake uh, pusher. Like a top speed or also this one there, right? So, okay, so obviously Moon Eyes, you know, American style, they do, uh, you know, if, if, if we're talking about California car culture, you've got to talk about Salt Lake top speed, right? So this is uh, a pusher truck because the top speed guys, Quite often, you know, the way their gearing works, they can't actually start from a from a start, and you know they've got they've got too much power, uh, so the wheels you know the wheels spin up because they're on salt, you know. So these are the trucks they used to push them. That's cool. So that's what this is. Impala, SS, nice. Oh, they don't usually have transmissions or clutches, just torque converters. Ah, well there you go. Thank you, Quinn. See, I, I knew someone would know. Quinn, can you, can you come and be like my fact guy next time? Like, can you come around with us? Uh, the stream would have been so good today if it wasn't for that one stupid dropout. Oh well. How are you doing, by the way, Quinn? A Barracuda. Carburetor troubles. <laughs> I 
Oh, okay, I, uh, the orange block is a Mopar thing, right? There's a lot of brand new parts on this. Like, there's a lot of, like, you can see all the, a lot of the fittings and brackets and gaskets and wires and stuff are all brand new. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we missed it. No. There you go. There you go. Where's the push truck? <laughs> yeah, it could have been used right now. Oh, that, that blue interior that these these generations of cars came with, it's like, eh. That's missing bad, it is. Is that a, is that a Camry? It is a Camry with Hawaii plates. Avalon? It is an Avalon? Yeah. See... <laughs> See, this, this, is a, this is the thing, right? You, you know... Why would any J J person in Japan want to own something like that, man? That's the, that's the kind of shit you see where I'm from. Why would anyone want that? Well, someone does. Like, that's the way it works. It's like I'm saying. You know? That's what I want. That's, I want an, I want like a Nova in, in like gray. That's what I want. I like, a, I want a Nova. That's what I want. Checking in from Arizona. Hello, we're in Tokyo. We're seeing all the stuff you could see in Arizona. Look how rich this thing's running. He's got like black spots under the, under the uh, exhaust dumps. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a Caldina? Yeah. It's like a Caldina Turbo. I think everyone's pretty much left now the the meshes are color coded to the body that's nice Yeah, we'll see if it works. I think it's worth. I think I, I. Oh, the lip, your lip. Ugh. Hey, 180 on RPF ones. Ugh. Two. What kind of angle was that, bro? That dude, that guy in the 180 has to learn how to do. Turn! Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are they all so bad? Just a little short stream today, but that, that's uh, the Moon Eyes Nationals. This is the earliest I can come out. Uh, this morning they have a um, coffee. Yes, let's do that. Simasen.
Oh. Yeah, I can hear those cars too. <laughs> We're gonna walk over that way soon. <laughs> Whelming? Were you whelmed? I'm glad you were whelmed. Since we're here, let's go here. Lexi's long ass strides. Dude, I have long legs and I'm wearing sports shoes. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this. This is my data. So uh, yeah, there you go. Welcome to 1960s Japan. Here you go, Cosmo and El Cosmo. All right. So this this is right. This is called the. Uh, actually, if I probably if I don't move too much, it probably be okay. This is the Toyota MegaWeb History Garage. Uh, they got a bunch of old cars here. It's kind of cool. It's just small hiccups, okay. This is what I want. It's a M M51 Crown. I want one of these with like a V8 in it. It's good enough, okay. If we go downstairs, we can probably get towards, like a bit more towards the outside and the frame rate might be a bit better. And it's sort of more fun down here anyway. Is there a 2000 GT? There may be somewhere, I don't know. Here you go. Didier Oriol's WRC car. Yeah, we have been here, we've been here before, like a long time ago. And I mean, probably the regulars have seen, already seen that stream. What are they working on today? There's a, what's that, a Lotus Elan? And, uh, oh, is that a 32? It's a GDR. Yeah. So they're, re they're resto, they're restoring, no, I was gonna say resto modding, but they'd just be restoring. There's a, R32 GTR in there. Where's the engine? Yeah, it's a, see, here's the, there's the RB26. Right there on the, uh, on the engine stand. Oh, there's a, yeah, you can see there's the, over there behind the engine, there's the door cards. There's the 32 door cards and so it's the 20, 26 with the, um, is that the gearbox? No. Yeah, it is. The wires on it are in really good condition. I wonder if that's standard. Huh. So GTR in there. Oh yeah, the, uh, the front fenders are hanging and the door cards are hanging on that, on that rack there. Oh, okay, there's, okay, there's the front bumper. Those are all the... Oh, so all the parts on these racks here from that car, those are all Skyline parts. Like there's the high cast, the power steering and the high cast. And the... Yeah, there's all the high cast stuff over there. Obviously that carburetor is not, is not part of it. It's running split fires, is it? Oh, that one? Yeah, you're right. Hmm. That's cool. So the story I've heard is that the, the guys who work here are like, you know, re retired mechanics who just do it for fun. And there's always something different in here. So it's just, it's cool to see a R32. Looks like getting in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, the, yeah. These so these 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 racks here are all the parts from that car. 
There's the radio. That's the uh, air conditioning, headlights. Cool. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing. I guess they're just going to restore the engine bay. There's already, yeah, they put a bit of sealant around the, the edge of the engine bay to start with, maybe. Like around the, uh, the scuttle. But it's still pretty untouched. That's cool. <laughs> Window shopping for beer can parts. <laughs> it's just, yeah, look, look, how, look how nice the front bumper is compared to mine. Wow. Unbelievable. I don't know how mine got so bad. Well, I mean, I do, but. So we're about to end. I'll just go to the train and uh, we'll jump on that. Here's another thing I want to test. And I'm going to test it now because it's right at the end of the stream. Uh, uh, my, like my phone is what I use to pay for the train. So this should, let me see if it works. Okay, ready? Oh, it worked. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're going to go down the platform, so it might not be good. So I'm probably just going to end it here. Stations have reception boosters. Ah, there you go. Okay, so we're going to end it there. Um, I'm going to upload this tomorrow on... I'm going to upload this tomorrow. If, I, if, if that doesn't work, I'll just premiere it. If not, whatever. And YouTube video coming out too. Make sure you have your alerts on. And I will see you next time. Thanks for being here. Oh, who's on? Can I host someone? Who's on? We have arrived at Tokyo Teleport Station. Oh, is Jake? Jake's on. Oh, let's go, go watch Jake. He's probably doing Japan stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Here we go. Bye. And...